Leo, your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions are in front of us. Let's jump in. We have your person thinks that they are falling in love with you. They feel as though this is a relationship that's very balanced. One that could go the distance with the Justice card. The Justice card is Libra energy. So your person sees you as a potential mate or partner. It's seventh house, Venus, Saturn, rulership. Your person wants to ask you out on a date, go places with you, get to know you better. You know, it's day-to-day -day activity to get to know whether the two of you are as uh, good together as your person thinks that you are. Your person has probably uh, come out of a situation in which they've been very wounded. This is a release and a healing process in their heart space. So it does look like this is a new relationship as far as they're concerned. It could be a reboot to an old relationship. Could be an ex returning for some. But your person in their heart space feels this very strong energy that says that they have been hurting they have to release this hurt and this pain from their past to be able to move forward in their heart space with you. They have great clarity about how they feel for you. They feel that you are their future. It is very, um, very difficult energy here in the heart space. Again, I think many of you might be newly dating someone who is divorced or has wounds from the past. In terms of their intentions, their intentions right now are to date multiple people or to, you know, not be exclusively involved with you. The two of coins is usually keeping your options open, juggling more than one. We also see the Knight of Wands, energy that is about fun. It's about coming, but not necessarily about staying in a an involvement. This is like, you know, I'll see you on Saturday night, I'll see you on Tuesday night, but I will be off doing other things the rest of the time. You know, it's, it's, we call it player energy. It doesn't have to be though. It can be someone who just likes to have fun, but is not really ready for commitment. This person feels that they would like to nurture. That's what's hidden here. We get this person in this hidden energy of not really talking about or telling you what their intentions are. They are very quiet. They're keeping to themselves, Leo. And, you know, they, they do feel this Cancerian pull of love. You know, very strong Cancerian energy here. So their actions are going to be that they're going to be very, very outgoing with you. They're going to take action. They're going to offer you a cup of love. They're in this space where they're looking at things from a different perspective. Now, if I came to this reading with you and didn't see the Ace of Cups as a beginner, I would say that the player energy would be more powerful. But as we see their actions, we're looking at something very different. We see the Ace of Wands, which is a passionate beginning. But looking at things here, their intentions from a different perspective. The falling in love with you experience is making them change their mind. And I feel their actions are definitely to close out player energy and to have this very innocent, sweet, naive love with you. But it's beginner love, so, you know, it's okay. So let's see what the clarifiers are for you here. Leo, hope everything is going well for everyone. Thank you for stopping by. My name is Donna. This is Dr. Donna Tarot. I like to jump into the reading because I know everyone likes to get off to a great start, so... There we go. So let's see. The Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here? We also have someone who could be slightly younger than you. Uh, we also see what, someone who is likely to be divorced and probably has children. The juggling can also be juggling uh, their responsibilities as an adult. You know, as, as a parent, it can also be with the Justice and Judgment card, very, very likely a person who has a lot of responsibilities um, with an ex if they're raising children together. So tell us about this Ace of Cups, Five of Wands. Okay, so your person feels as though 
they have to compete for your attention. That That's their thoughts right now in this situation. They do think that you could be their soulmate. The Queen of Cups, they feel as though they're falling very in love with you, very falling very deeply in love with you. They think that you're quite beautiful. They think that you are someone they could go the distance with. They feel very nurtured, warm, and loving when they're with you. When they think of you, that's what they think of. The Devil card speaks very strongly to the fact that this person may have extreme reservations about marriage again. This person may be very much uh, feeling as though they were in a toxic environment, but I like the energy of them throwing caution to the winds. We do see the energy that they are unlikely, though, to, you know, that self-imposed restriction, to let go of their heart very quickly. Uh, they are not really also, they feel stuck. They feel stuck in this judgment. So again, they could be going through a legal process and or emotionally, though, in their heart space, they feel very stuck. They want to release their reservations. They want to let go of the pain. The Two of Swords, they have so many memories right now about something that happened. So the heart space isn't open right now. It looks like it's closed for business, but it's bubbling over their passion. You know, they're falling in love, um, but we really see it, a person who's struggling in the heart space energy, Leo. So when we look at the Six of Swords, this person is moving away from troubles. They're healing. They want to have a victory in love. I don't think that they will feel safe loving unless they feel loved. The Ace of Coins, the Ace of Swords. Wow. Okay. So this is a person who is very inclined to fall in love easily. And having done so in the past, it hurt them. It looks as though they might have jumped into a marriage at a young age. It looks like they might have jumped into a marriage prematurely. This person, though, is inclined to marriage. So it's very interesting that they're really juggling this idea of, oh, you know, I'll just be a player. Because when we see the heart space of somebody with the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Coins, and you have the Ace of Cups up here, this person is highly, highly inclined to make you an offer. You know, they, they feel as though you could be the one. They feel as though they have clarity, great clarity that you could be the one. And being in love with you feels victorious to them. The energy of the Knight of Wands is very, very, oh, <laughs> we have clarity. We have clarity here. This person does not want to commit right away. They do not intend to commit right away. They feel as though they need some, some space. They do need some space before they would get into the energy of giving a ring or a substantial offer. So their intention is different than what where they're at in their heart space. So there's some conflict here between their head and their heart. The energy in terms of their intentions is to keep you in the dark a bit, you know, to not really tell you what they're doing. Their intention is, Leo, there you are in the reading. Okay, so this person also intends to have you as a significant person in their life. But the Seven of Swords, they may be dishonest with you. This is their intention now, not their action. But it does show that if they juggle another person with you, they are not going to tell you. They're going to sneak around and do it behind your back. So if they're going to keep their options open or be on a dating site, they're not going to tell you. Why is the High Priestess here? The walking away. So quietly, this person would, if they were to ghost you, they would just walk away and not tell you. Well, that's what ghosting is, but you know what I mean. It would not be their intention to tell you if they were not fulfilled in the relationship. That silence, that's keeping quiet, that's keeping secrets. High Priestess energy is very nurturing, sweet energy, but... This person would simply, you know, their intention. So this is their intentions. Just to remind you, thoughts, feelings, intentions, and this is your outcome in terms of what their actions are going to be. They're at, oh, wow, look at this. This person is so conflicted. Oof. If you're dating them, I'm sure you're wondering what the heck is going on. If you've known them for a long time, you're probably pretty, pretty aware here 
of what I'm talking about. The Two of Cups energy says that this person, the actions that they take are to have a new beginning in love with you with a committed relationship or with one in which they are with you for a substantial period of time. You know, Two of Cups is a commitment card, you know, and the, the standard uh, rider weight. So I see it as much more of a deep feeling of possibly marrying you. So the actions are that, you know, they're going to look at this from a different perspective once they've been with you a little bit longer, and I would say it wouldn't be that long. I would say that this person would get out of this energy pretty quickly, probably within, let's see, probably within three months. You have to be careful, though. I would say this is a, this is a person you have to be very careful with. They are looking at marriage from a different perspective. Interesting. So they see you as a person that would be marriage material. You do fit the paradigm of the person that they would like to be with. The world card. Look at that. The strength to go the distance. This person does think the world of you. They feel very strongly that you could be the one. And their actions will be in alignment with that. They are a lightweight in love, clarify this, but they want, they're a fool for love. So we see this energy, Leo, for you that your person is very much um, in their heart and their head space. They're, they're being pulled in a lot of directions here. 